Yo, what's up everybody and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all having a great day. Uh, so in today's video, I'll be showing you how to learn to code in Blocks.io. Uh, so recently, Blocks.io, so recently coding in Blocks.io has become very important. So basically, if you want to make custom game modes, change stuff in your survival world or something, Coding has become like a big part of Blocks.io um, and so yeah, there's a lot of coders out there making really cool game modes There's a lot of nice codes you can find for like uh, new items or Extra health or changing name tags. So yeah, all that is cool. But the problem co uh, I personally I find coding pretty hard um, so basically I've tried coding before and it hasn't really worked out because it's not about the logic it's about really understanding the coding language I have I mean I know a bunch of people find it really easy but personally I find it kind of hard um, so basically I I'm gonna show you today how to learn to code first off you're gonna have to go to blockstop.com that so this is a different website from blocks.io but uh yeah it's a really cool website in my opinion so yeah it's blockshub.com it's not affiliated with blocks or anything but yeah basically the it's made by this guy crownix and basically the, there's a lot of stuff there so basically there are schematics uh that you can download block schematics there are mods so like these mods aren't really mods they're just codes but yeah, there's a bunch of really cool codes that you can find there. And basically, there's also Blocks API Docs, which was just added like yesterday. Um, so basically, this will explain in really good detail how co how coding works in Blocks.io. Um, so yeah, it's not 100% finished. There's still a bunch of stuff that they have to add. There's like 50% they have to add. But for the basics, it's really good. So yeah, let, let's check it out. So first off, it tells me the, the ways to run code. So yeah, there's basically world code, code blocks, code boards. Then there's what is world code, what are code blocks. And yeah, uh, the key differences. So there are callbacks, trigger, char limits, axis, my ID variable, this pause variable. So it just explains what it does. And then th these are the global variables it's talking about. So like my ID, disposition, API. Uh, yeah, so basically, and then it runs you for, uh, through your first script. So basically, it, it tells you how to, um, how to open world code and then how to, let's say, say hello. So yeah, l l let me first off try this. So I copied it. All right, so I basically opened my world code code and I just paste this in and boom it just says hello in the chat now this is a really easy code but the point is that it helps you understand how everything works so on player join is the variables so like when a player joins uh, and then API is I think like the code and then send message is the function uh, I think I'm not really sure uh, but yeah it basically said send message is like in the chat and then you say player ID and then hello. So yeah, it explains what just happened. So on player join is a callback. It's not a variable, my bad. Uh, player ID is the ID of the player who joined and API send message, sends a mes chat message to that player. Then uh, step three, add a command. Three, we're gonna add this. So let me just reopen and we're gonna re-add this. And then if you do slash help in the chat, how can I help you? So basically now the the callback is slash help in the chat. So it's the player command, it's the variable that changes. And so yeah, it's the equals player ID command. And and if there's the command slash help, then the function or what's gonna happen is that the, the code will send a message in the chat, how can I help you? So then we can do do something fun let's make a jump command that launches player in the air okay so let, let's try to do that uh so player command so if i think if i do slash jump yeah as you can see it it, it, it kind of works like the player command that how can i help you 
but basically this time the it's not API dot send message it's API apply impulse so yeah apply impulse is like boost the player up or something so yeah it's really uh, fun then here's the full example basically what we just learned is how to open world code what callbacks are and how to send messages and apply physics then events so yeah even if you didn't really understand this like I didn't really understand this it, 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 this it, like explains it way better and so yeah this is an example so on player join slash player id so this is the event like the condition and then if this happens uh, a specific function will happen so yeah on player join is like the event that when like a random player joins and then on player leave once a player leaves the lobby uh we it will broadcast message the name and then left then player command it's when uh, a player starts uh, when player writes a message in chat and starts it with slash then on player chat so on player chat is when uh, a player sends a random message so without a slash without a command uh ticks is ticks also exists in minecraft so basically it runs every uh continuously 20 times per second it just explains the different uh events so yeah uh so yeah here's a quick reference if if you just need and then messages this is api send message so basically the code will send a message in chat yeah and then if you want to make color messages you can make uh you can you can you can put the you can put the api dot message uh send message and then you put color and then you can choose red or like the number for like the rgb thingy then this is like uh what the player id is and everything that about the player info so yeah if it's mobile or is in uh, or on a computer um so yeah so uh, i really recommend checking it out so as you can see it just talks about everything that you need camera and view appearance health and combat inventory so yeah basically uh, anything if you want to make a custom world or or something like that so yeah there's and then there's even more coming soon so particle sound music ui elements so yeah it's really really helpful to be honest like i'm gonna try to learn code through this so it's blogstub uh, dot, uh com so yeah it's not this is not an ad i just think it's a really good uh website to learn how to code in blogs.io so yeah guys that's all for today's video i hope you've enjoyed it please subscribe as we are so close to 4000 subscribers and it would mean a ton if you could if we could reach this goal before 2026 so yeah stay tuned for more awesome videos and bye bye and have a great day